My name's Tim, I'm the owner of Trick Factory Customs, and today we're gonna to talk about my Mercedes 190E, the Evo Evo. Basically the way it starts for everybody is like the high school poster car. For me it was the Evo 2. This started out as a $500 donor car, and then once I got into it, I just built the most extreme version of the Evo 2 that I could come up with. Trick Factory Customs actually started out doing motorcycles, and then we transitioned into hot rods, and then from there we transitioned into exotics, and each step our sort of tech got better, our abilities got better, and now you can see some of the cars that we've done that I think you guys have seen. We're trying to get into the OEM Plus, which your software has helped us do a lot. We became aware of 3D scanning probably like 10 years ago, but at that time it was just so expensive and so unattainable. But now that obviously technology gets cheaper as more people use it, we use it every day. So like the combination of 3D scanning, CAD design, using Fusion, it's like all day, every day. Like now it's it's replacing a completely another set of tools. And then the, the efficiency, the finished product is just so much better now. This is the first car show of this type that we've put on. So like what I was talking about earlier, it's like we're not really stuck to any one genre. So now we, because of some of the abilities that the technology has brought us, now we have guys with like the Bentley reaching out to us and like, hey, can you make this? Because I saw you guys did this. And then we got G-Wagons and race cars and exotics. And it's now it's just kind of, we do everything. Like we don't really, we're not stuck to any one thing. And then having the ability to make pretty much anything has opened up a whole appreciation to all different types of cars. We're just having so much fun doing what we're doing. Being able to use that software and, and solve problems and find solutions before we execute is, it's been amazing. So it makes us really good at everything. Fusion is an easy entry into a program where you know you can start creating things in 3D. We start from 3D scanning the product, the car, part, whatever it is. We 3D scan it, bring it into Fusion, and then whether it's from like you know hand sketches or whatnot, we have that as a basis, and then we start modeling in Fusion. We did a lot of detail work to it in Fusion. All the parts that are like you know, I guess the big parts were you know bought and then we installed it, but you know all the fit and finishes that we have on the car that we 3D designed and scan and you know print it in fusion the light part that we designed the brackets that we create in the sheet metal um, environment and we have the dash piece there we scan and the 3d model uh, printed and then yeah even all the interior bits that you don't really see that it's all been uh, designed then we scan the whole chassis we put it in fusion and then we place all the batteries we designed the battery pack where it holds it in the rear trunk we did motor mounts we did all the interior, so we did door cards, we did the little dash where the screen goes. It's been pretty cool seeing all these cars here and to be able to display some of the cars that we worked on, you know, seeing cars that are around the neighborhood but we've never seen before. And yeah, it's been pretty cool. So hopefully we'll be here next year again. It doesn't have to be perfect or it doesn't have to be finished, but you know, the execution of, you know, having your idea come into life, we just want to kind of showcase something like that here. So we did a lot of like online, like, you know, asking people and then people were submitting their cars in or, you know, from a contact that we knew from the clients that we had. Uh, and then after they submitted the car request, um, I guess my boss and some other people, they were reviewing if the car was, you know, would be selected for the show or not. So yeah, these are all the selected cars that we decided to display here today. So yeah, all these cars are within the vicinity of Vancouver. So not even that far out. Yeah, like you don't ever see these around the, on the road or you know, people have this in the garage, they work on it, so it's a nice way for people to come really see, check out what they're building in the garage.